Stan Jibalisco here. I'm going to explain the reason for a peculiar phenomenon or sight that you may have observed if you happen to live in certain locations. Uh, there are a lot of consumer satellite receiving dishes out there uh, to re uh, for satellite television and in some cases satellite internet. And those dish antennas look something like uh, this, usually. Although once in a while you may see what you see here, a dish that appears to be receiving a signal from underneath the horizon, a signal from under the ground. I call this the disoriented dish. Uh, it happens when a satellite uh, for that whatever satellite the dish wants to look at is extremely close to the horizon, low in the sky, only a few degrees above the horizon. And it happens because of the nature of the construction of some satellite dish antennas. These days, most. Uh, they're about a meter in diameter, most of them, and of often they're somewhat oblong in shape, a little bit wider than they are tall. The boom that supports the feed horn, that is the, the, the actual device that receives and or transmits the signal, is sort of off-center. It's, 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 the boom starts out at the edge of the dish and points somewhat away from the perpendicular axis of the dish, which would go like this. Why would they do this? Why would they not want a signal to come straight into the dish and come back and straight to the feed horn and then onward to the receiver? Well, there's a reason for, for that, and that is uh, that if you place the feed horn out of the way of the signal path coming into the dish, you keep the feed horn and the receiving transponder from blocking the view, as it were. It's out of the way. And although the signal has to come in at a little bit of an angle with respect to the dish in order to equal the angle with which the boom is placed uh, relative to the axis, although that has to be a little bit of an angle rather than straight on in, it doesn't significantly affect the performance of the dish. It works just about as well for reflecting as it would if it came straight on in, as long as the angle isn't too large, of course. Here I've exaggerated it just to make the effect a little bit more uh, vivid for your visual enlightenment. The mass that supports the dish is this gray thing here. That doesn't actually contribute to the operation of the dish other than to allow for a bearing right here that can be used to steer or point the dish. The feed line that is that goes into the television receiver or computer with internet on it or both is usually a coaxial cable and I'm showing it right here. It could be attached to or even inside of the supporting mast. You could have a little hole in the mast and run it down through in there. But note that the dish seems to be pointed below the horizon because the satellite light that this dish wants to look at is very low to the horizon, so much so that the offset angle to keep the feed horn out of the way of the signal is greater than uh, that the, 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 the <laughs> pardon me that the signal angle as it comes in uh, is only a little bit more than the offset angle and the result is that you get a dish that looks like it's pointed straight towards the straight into the ground like it's jamming the signal or receiving the signal from a shallow angle into the earth instead of above the horizon and you think what's this thing supposed to be listening to anyway you know insects ants um, worms
snakes what was it what's it supposed to be listening to down there but it really it's not pointed down when it looks like that it's pointed in the direction of maximum signal radiation and response which is at an angle with respect to the axis of the dish and that angle is greater than the angle at which this downward slant occurs this doesn't happen in very many locations and they don't have to be way up north either uh, they can be anywhere that the satellite that you want to look at is very close to the horizon in the sky. They can be at any latitude. I've seen them uh, at, at all uh, latitudes on Earth. But there is one caveat. If you're north of, a, if you're very close to the pole, either the north or the south pole, the satellite itself will actually be below the horizon and you will not be able to point a dish at the satellite and receive anything. Signals don't come through the earth to get to the dish. It may look like that's what's happening when you see this and you think, you know, what's, it, what's up with this, this dude here, this, this bozo who's listening to this signal in the ground, but he's not, or she is not listening to a signal in the ground she's listening to a signal from a satellite so close to the horizon that this particular design of dish antenna has to be aimed so that it looks like it's pointing into the ground but it isn't really or is it you tell me Stan Jubilisco signing off until next time so long.